Hi folks, this is Sumit and welcome to ACAD Games project session. In today's session, we will understand the project requirement as in what exactly the project is, from where the data is coming, how the data looks like, what are the different pre-processing steps and then what are the different analysis that will be performed on the processed pre-processed data. So let's begin. Project name is e-commerce data analysis using Hadoop. I hope you guys are aware of the e-commerce sector, the online uh, sector wherein you log in and purchase the day-to-day -day stocks. Okay, so just like Amazon, Flipkart, or Snapdeal, okay, they have their uh, uh, you know online website as well as app. From there, customer can log in with their details and can purchase various items. So similarly. A uh, leading e-commerce company named MyCard is planning to investigate and analyze products and customer behavior. See what happens when you log in and when you hover through the various categories, when you purchase something, all the data gets captured in the back end. So based on the historical data, companies can do analysis and can increase their revenue by giving proper proper uh, you know discount on particular category and all let's say if i am interested or uh, according to my previous data uh, company analyzed that okay sumit is interested in electronics items so every other item that he purchases belongs to the electronics category so coming up with the discount in electronics category can uh, pursue me to buy more and more items from that particular company right if they give me discounts and other benefits in some other category i may or may not buy but you know when they give me discount in electronics category chances are high that i might buy a particular item from that particular company so there are various things which can be analyzed based on the historical data so every day company receives lots of data about different products their users behaviors and in terms of placing orders and subsequent actions made on the orders also based on the data company can uh, avoid uh, the forgery okay there are various uh, fraud detection uh, analysis that can be done on the data based on the historical uh, pattern okay so users are uh, you know spread across the globe so the data is captured and it is in huge amount and based on the analysis company can grow their revenue so there are various things which can benefit like in competitive uh, benefit campaign design possible fraud detection target marketing so these things are there which based on data a company can achieve. Next, the data. So there are three different data that is received on daily basis and they are products info, users info and users activity let's see each of them one by one so this is products info okay it contains information about different products that are hosted on e-commerce website so every product every unique product have uh, unique id the name of the product the reseller so uh, you know any most of the e-commerce company does not uh, manufacture the product they get it from a particular reseller and then deliver it to the customer. So the reseller, who is the reseller of that particular product, and the category of product under which it belongs, price, discount and profit percent. So the sample record looks something like this. Okay. Next data is users activity. These contain various type of activities performed by user okay like product id name user id whether it have the product have been cancelled returned what are the re if cancelled then what is the reason for cancellation if return what is the reason for uh, return order date shipment delivery and various other fields and this is how the data looks like and there is one more data that is user info 
So every unique user will have specific details like user ID, name of the user, location, age, and then occupation. Okay, and if he uh, if he bought some product, what is the price of the product he bought? Okay, so this is the data that looks like. Next, what happens? Data comes the data preparation phase. Okay, see multiple files. If it is of smaller size, then Hadoop does not fit for that. So we need to make sure that file of a particular uh, category is merged. If the file size is less than 100 MB, it should be merged. So let's say there are five different files of product info. Okay, say product underscore info underscore one underscore two underscore three. And if the file size each uh, of each product info is 10 MB or 15 MB, all the product info files should be merged so that it is it's a single file. Similarly, we have uh, the, the, the next file is, if it is user info, all the user info file should be merged together. So this is the data preparation phase, okay? Wherein you have to make sure that no file is less than 100 MB. If there is a single file of 50 MB or 60 MB, then in that case, we cannot do anything, okay? So this is the flow diagram. So if you have product info, multiple files should be merged and it should be a single file of product info. Okay, then users info. Similarly, all the three different files should have a file of 100 MB. Okay. Next come the cleaning phase. Okay. So in case we get null from product category, we need to do some kind of enrichment. So there comes the use of lookup table so we will have some lookup tables in hbase from there we will fetch the data if in case some of the data are missing we will try our best to find okay if the particular data have some relative fields in the lookup table or not if there is present we will join it we will uh, enrich our data and based on enriched data we will perform the analysis so this particular phase explains about the enrichment we will see in detail when we execute our code we will see in detail what exactly is the lookup table how it is created how the data is loaded into lookup table and everything so there are two lookup tables one is product category and other is user location okay coming down rules for checking and validation so there are certain rules which every data has has to pass if user id and product id should be should not be null so this is rule number one so this is applicable for all the three data wherever we have user id and product id value should not be null rule number two is order date should be less than or equal to shipment date rule number three is age of the user should be a positive number so these are some rules which each and every data have to adhere with if any of the uh, data is uh, getting violated with the above rules it should be dropped and it should not be concerned for processing okay so after validation is complete we need to identify the number of records failed for each row okay so i will tell you how those things are done okay and then you know there are certain thresholds if a particular file has uh, if a particular file fails to meet the threshold the particular file should not be considered for processing at all so once we are done with the validation there are various analysis the so first analysis belong to purchase pattern detection like what is the most purchased category by every user so as i said in the beginning every user will have different taste of uh, purchasing so they, they can uh, what is the various category uh, most purchased category we need to identify okay then what are the various products and there are different problem statements so similarly we have fraud detection like which user has most amount of returns what are the valid purchases made by that user so based on this we will have to write our code so this is this about the project uh, once the analysis is done we need to export the data either to mysql or we can export our result to any NoSQL database, so either MySQL or HBase table, it is up to us. Uh, we will be showing uh, how to export the data to MySQL. So this is it, guide with the uh, this is it, guys, with the project requirement. Uh, in our next session, we will move ahead and see how the data is prepared. So for today, thank you. Have a great day.